Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the power system transistivity prediction model using neural network. So in, in power system, right? In power system, the fault it may be occur, right? Because of fault, right? Uh, during fault, after cleaning of fault, right? We need to check the stability of the system, whether the system is stable or not. Okay. So based upon that uh, checking that means status uh, status of the, the power system after clearing the fault right so we need to take some control action in order to get the continuous power supply to the load right and also not avoid the problem in the power system so for that we need to use some the prediction model so that prediction model can be predict the, the state that means stability of the system whether the system is to be in the system stable or not okay so based upon that uh, that mean uh, status of that uh, prediction model so that power plant operator or uh, some uh, automatic control action take the control action in order to uh, secure that power system and also that can be provide continuous power supply to the customers right so for that we need to create some prediction model so here we are going to use that neural network so that going back to say prediction model in order to predict the stability of the power system that means transient stability of the power system so here we are using 39 per system so you can see the detailed report uh, 39 per system here right so here you can go to this website right so in this uh, website you can see the the detail of uh, the train bus system okay this bus system the train bus system consists of uh, 10 generator you can see the generator 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then it have the train buses and then uh, if you want to know about the more detail uh, detail about the, uh, the train bus system so you can use this uh, paper right article in order to get the more detail about the, uh, the train bus system and also that neural network right so the neural network is implemented in the simulating model okay so that 39 plus simulating model is taken from this website right you can go to the network so you can download that 39 plus system so already this other matrix of matrix right so let develop that 39 uh, 39 bus system so i thank other other for this other other for this uh, wonderful work so I use this uh, summoning model in order to apply that prediction, neural network prediction model in order to check the transistor stability in the data number system. So I download that one. So I am using that model. So we can uh, download that uh, data number system and then you can apply that concept. Okay. So here you can see that here we are using that neural network. So the neural network having two inputs. So one is uh, rotor speed of the generator and then another one is mu mu nothing but stability index so that stability index will be calculated by using this formula the formula i think but 360 minus a del a del max so and then it divided with the 360 plus uh, del uh, del max okay so del del max nothing but the difference between the power angle right rotor angle between two generator so you have to take only that means we have 10 generator right you have to take uh, the difference between um, all generator right power angle difference and then from that you have to take only maximum value and then you have to apply this formula so this formula is for calculating the stability index and uh, this formula will be provide the detail that means uh, it should be greater than zero if it is less than zero maybe the system go for a turn and that means unstable state unstable state okay okay so we are uh, taking two, two parameter one is rotor speed and then stability index and then label right we are making label label which is equal to 1 and minus 1 so 1 means you are considered as a stable operation minus 1 is you are considered as unstable operation okay so for that we are going to create the fault in the system 
and we are collecting the data before the fault we are collecting the data after fault okay so after collecting uh, data before after fault we are making label according with the data okay 1 minus 1 so the data going to be used for train the neural network okay so here you can see that uh, so here we are using the uh, detail this detail used for collecting the data for different fault conditions okay so we are collecting the the speed of the uh, all generator and then stability index and then status so it going to be stored in the workplace okay so already we collected the data so i am going to show the data yeah so here uh, here you can see that so this is the data okay so this is the data of uh, input right that means uh, rotor speed of the generator and then stability index and then here you can see this is the data that means otherwise called label right so one means normal operation so minus one means unstable operation stable one means stable operation minus one means unstable operation so we are collecting the data for different fault conditions and different cases okay and then the data going to be used to for train the neural network so here i'm going to use and then start and then i'm going to use fitting app and then click next so here i'm going to feed the input data first db and then i'm going to feed the second data that means of label label or a target data okay and then this is going to be used for train the neural network so i'm going to train the model and finally i'm going to use that neural network in the simulation block okay so the same neural network going to be used here so for, for predicting for predict the stable and unstable of the system okay so here i'm going to explain the concept with the, uh, that i'm going to create the fault i'm, I'm going to show the uh, detail of the prediction model uh, the output of the prediction model so here i'm going to here i'm going to create the fault in the one second and then the fault will be prolonged to the 10 cycles and then you have to check the stability of the system so here i'm going to simulate this model <coughs> so here you can see that now the output will be one right so system set to be stable now the fault will be occur at uh, one second right and then after that it will prolong up to 10 cycle after that it will be cleared right now we can see that the system and that means status of the the neural network output of the neural network is minus one so that means it's saying that system now is unstable right so uh, that can be seen in the, the following scope window so here you can see that the rotor angle is goes more than 360 and also you can see that some generator that one generator speed is more than 1.1 per unit, right? So system is under unstable condition. Okay, so that means the model, the prediction model, is predict the status of the system very effectively. And also, I'm going to change the fault timing also. So I'm here. I'm going to create. That means I'm going to change the fault timing, clearing time. Right here, I'm going to use five cycles. Right, the fault will be occur at once again, and then it will prolong up to five cycle. After that, it will be Clear and then we have to check the results. Okay, so here once again I am going to simulate the model. And then check the status from the neural network. So here you can see the see the status is equal to one. That means so here you can see that already the simulation time is uh, around 4 seconds right we are getting the status is always 1 that means system uh, having stable operation so you can see the, the detail in the, the scope window right here you can see that after some time uh, the speed and the uh, rotor angle and then rotor angle is maintained at the constant right at the initial value right so now system operates in stable stable condition same way i'm going to create the fault in the some other location and then you have to check the result 
so here I'm going to create the fault in this bus and then you have to check the stability of the system now I'm going to create the fault and then I'm going to submit the model and then you have to check the stability of the system so here the fault will be accurate to once again it will prolong up to 5 seconds after that it will be cleared and then you have to check the stability of the system whether the prediction model will provide the status is correct or not okay now we can see that the status is always 1 and uh, that means uh, as per the neural network the system operates at a stable condition so we have to check the result of that scope so here you can see that after some seconds it uh, comes to that uh, initial value right is it will maintain stable right the system is operated at a stable condition right so next i'm going to like little bit i'm going to increase the fault duration to 10 seconds right and then you have to check the results So here you can see that our simulation started, the status will be is 1, right? And then we have to check the result. Now up during fault, right? The rotor angle, everything will be changed, right? And then here also you can see that system status will be stable because uh, that rotor angle and the rotor speed is comes to original, right? So system set to be stable for that fault condition also. So and you can see that the result from the neural network also displayed as one, right? That means uh, it says the system is stable, right? So again, I'm going to change the. Uh, that means I'm going to change the fault locations, right? Uh, that means I'm going to change the fault location to here, and then check the system stability so here i'm going to simulate this model so here you can see that system now one right stable and also you can see that uh, this variation of rotor angle and the rotor speed so this comes to stable and then we are getting one here of from the neural neural equal to one that means the prediction neural network prediction model saying the system is stable so here i'm going to increase the um, fault timing you know to test the stability whether the system is stable or not the output from the prediction model uh, providing the accurate result or not okay So I, now I increase the, the pin fault time to 40 cycles. Okay. And then we have to check the system stability from the neural network. So till, till now they say system is stable. Now we can see that it uh, indicate minus one that means system is unstable because some of the rotor angle and everything will be go beyond that we will check the detail so now you can see that some of that mean the rotor angle some of the rotor angle goes to some uh, more than 360 degree and also you can see that the rotor speed is go to more than 1.1 per unit right so now we can see that the prediction model uh, telling that the uh, that mean on the system set to be unstable so saying that neural prediction model saying that system is unstable because here you can see that one machine rotor angle is move above that 360 and also you can see that rotor speed of the one machine is beyond that 1.1 per unit right so the prediction from the neural network is accurate okay so this is a power system transient stability prediction model by neural network
Thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye.